of his word. Amen. And if I was to have a little thought for the day, All right. my thought would be, how bad do you want it? All right. Now we can ask ourselves, everything is going on in our life, but how bad do you want it? Are you willing to sacrifice? Are you willing to pray? Are you willing All to right. come to church? Are you willing to seek the Lord? The question is, how bad do you want it? This, this woman, she had an issue of blood right. for 12 long years. She was at a point of her life, she was desperate, and she needed something from the Lord. And you have to remember, when you had any kind of bleeding, you was considered as being unclean. All right. But she wasn't thinking about being unclean. All right. She needed something from the Lord. Right. And we have to put ourselves sometimes in a position, and we have to say, how bad do we want it? Right. Society looked down on her. She was considered as an outcast. And every time she entered in the city around anyone, she had to let them know that she was unclean. Just like they treated the lepers. They treated someone that had an issue of blood, the woman. They treated her the same way. But she needed something from the Lord. And she was not intimidated by the crowd. She wasn't intimidated by the people. She had a focus on Jesus. And she had a focus on being deliver. She believed that she could just get to Jesus huh? and she could just touch the hem of his garment. Huh? She believed that she could be made whole. But one thing about it, this woman was in a situation huh, where her husband, huh, he was no longer with her. Huh? Because when you have an issue of blood for 12 years, huh, her, her, her husband had the opportunity huh, to divorce her. Her children huh, could didn't have nothing to do with her. her. Her family, her friends, her, she was all alone. Her, she was lonely her, because she was considered her, as being her, unclean. Her, but that didn't matter to her. her. She needed something from the Lord. Her. She realized her, that she had to break her, the Jewish law her, to get her what she needed. Her. She knew her, that for 12 years her, she wasn't able her, to go and to the synagogues. She wasn't able to pray like we. She wasn't able to worship like she, like we could. And think about it. For 12 years, you have no one to talk to. No one to befriend you. And you have to go to the tabernacle. You can go in, but you have to go to the gates of it. And the But she said, I know a man huh, that don't have to offer huh, up no torment. Huh. I don't need no turtle doves. Huh. All I need to do huh, is get to Jesus. Huh. And she heard huh, that Jesus huh, was passing by. Huh, and she got up herself. Huh. Remember, huh, she was bleeding huh, for 12 years. Huh. So that means huh, that she was anemic. Huh. That means she was weak huh, in her body. Huh. She might even have been a little 
brother's body and she knew that she had been exposed. She knew that Jesus already knew who she was before a testimony. The woman said, he said he was so sweet and the Lord was so kind. He said, daughter, he's the only one he addressed as daughter. He said, with love and kindness, have I drawn. He had love. He had tenderness and mercy for that woman while she down there on her knees. She's trembling and she's so afraid. And he said, daughter, be made whole. He just wanted everybody to know that she was healed because she pressed away. She was healed because she didn't give up. She was healed because she had 